Juggling meetings, deadlines, and to-dos? There's a smarter way to stay on top of it all. Today, in this Motion tutorial, I'm going to walk you through one of the smartest productivity tools out there, the Motion app. I'll cover everything you need to get started, from setup and smart AI scheduling, to managing tasks, planning projects, and even using Motion's built-in AI meeting assistant. If you've been drowning in to-do lists, this might be one of the best productivity apps you've been looking for. All right, let's take a quick tour of the Motion dashboard so you can get your bearings and take your first steps in understanding how to use Motion. On the left sidebar, we'll see key sections like agenda, calendar, projects and tasks, docs, and AI meeting notes, which is Motion's built-in note taker. In the center, as our home screen, we're guided to our AI-optimized calendar view, where the Motion productivity tool automatically plans your day based on your priorities. And up top, we'll also find the essential proverbial helping hand of Motion, Quick Add, plus new button to create tasks, projects, docs, or meetings, right next to your notification sidebar and account settings. So, if you're already curious to try it out for yourself, I've left a link down in the description below. Motion offers a seven day free trial and no credit card input is needed as it was in the past. So you can follow along as we go and test it out risk-free. Now let's dive into the crux of the matter of this Motion app tutorial. That is what really sets the Motion app apart. It's AI calendar functionality. I'll show you a clear example so that you can understand what the AI is capable of on your calendar screen. Say you're someone like a hypothetical Julia, a freelance video editor juggling multiple deadlines and client calls. Julia starts by connecting her Google Calendar. Motion instantly pulls in all of her existing events and meetings. Now, let's say she has a big task due tomorrow, a two-hour video edit for a brand client. She clicks the plus new button, selects task, and enters title. Edit client A's video. Duration, two hours. Due, tomorrow. Motion instantly scans her schedule and places the task into the intended time slot as a high focus block on her calendar, overlapping and rescheduling anything else that was before in this particular time slot. But then a client messages her, asking for a last minute check-in. Julia adds the meeting at 11 a.m. right in the middle of her editing block. We need to keep busy on this meeting so that the reschedule would work. And just like that, Motion reschedules the video edit for later in the day, automatically keeping her on track without needing to drag or rearrange anything manually. Now let's look at how the Motion task management functionality helps organize both big projects and the small tasks that make them happen. Say I'm prepping for a new video launch. I'll start by clicking the plus new button, selecting project and naming it YouTube video launch. Now I'll add a few tasks under this project. The first one, edit the video, due Friday, high priority. The second one, design thumbnails, due Thursday. And the third one, schedule upload due Saturday. And I'll mark edit the video as a dependency for schedule upload, since that can't happen until the editing is done. I can also make recurring tasks like weekly performance check to automate routine items. Once the tasks are in, I'll switch between views to get a better overview in projects and tasks. The list view helps me check priorities. The Kanban board makes it easy to drag and move tasks across stages. And the GAN view shows how all these deadlines align in a timeline style layout perfect for visual planning. Now let's take a look at one of my favorite features, the AI note taker. Motion can automatically join your meetings, whether it's on Zoom, Google Meet, or Microsoft Teams, and take real-time notes for you. It summarizes the discussion, highlights action items, and even suggests new tasks based on what was said. Now, to be honest, in this Motion AI tutorial, I'm not going to share my personal meeting notes here, but Motion gives a great example on their website that's nearly identical to how I have been using it. Their AI summarizes key decisions, pulls out action items, and even suggests deadlines and task durations automatically. And here's the best part. It all shows up in your calendar and task list the moment the meeting ends. 
You can review and approve everything, of course, with just one click. It's accurate, insanely fast, and lets you stay present in the conversation instead of scribbling notes. This is by far one of the biggest advancements of generative AI use cases among the best productivity tools out there. Going further, let's take a look at AI Docs, one of the most underrated but efficient tools inside of Motion. If you've ever used Google Docs, this will feel familiar. It's got the same clean look and real-time editing, but with AI built right in. I'll go ahead and create a doc called Quarter 2 Marketing Strategy Recap where I paste in rough notes from our last campaign meeting. Now, by highlighting a certain piece of the text, Motion's AI can scan it and instantly generate a summary, plus a list of suggested actionable items if you actually ask the AI to do that. Here's where it gets really useful though. I can either link these tasks to an existing project I already have in Motion, or even create a new project or calendar event on the spot. That means I don't have to switch between tabs, copy and paste tasks, or rewrite anything. It's all interconnected. This tight link between documents and scheduling turns AI Docs feature into real-time AI-powered motion task planning. Let's head into settings and integrations, where you can fine-tune motion to match how you work. Under general settings, you'll find everything from calendar connections, auto scheduling preferences and task defaults to your theme, time zone, and notification preferences. There are also settings for conference tools like Zoom or Google Meet, plus access to Motion's desktop app, privacy controls, and your booking link. I'll go ahead and connect my Google Calendar and Zoom account so Motion can automatically sync events and handle meeting links without any manual setup. And for power users, Motion also offers full Zapier integration and an open API. So you can automate workflows and connect with tools like Notion, ClickUp, or Slack. Everything is pretty centralized here. So once it's set up, Motion really runs the show behind the scenes. Of course, the enormity of settings can detract some users. However, even though I was honestly a little bit overwhelmed at first, it took me only a couple of hours to fine tune Motion to my preferences and to set up its AI to my liking. Motion also makes team collaboration seamless. I'll start by assigning a task. Let's say, write the launch email to my teammate Alex. As soon as I assign it, Motion scans Alex's calendar and automatically picks the best time slot based on their availability and current workload. This means no double booking, no guesswork, and Alex doesn't need to manually fit it into his schedule. I can also open the team dashboard to get a quick view of who's working on what, how busy each teammate is, and even check time tracking for each project. Whether you're managing a small team or multiple departments, Motion gives you full visibility without micromanaging. Before I wrap up, here are a few power tips that make the Motion app feel even smarter once you've got the basics down. First, when creating tasks, always set a time estimate. Motion uses that to build a more realistic schedule. And over time, it learns your working speed and adjusts future plans automatically. Second, if there's a task that must happen at a specific time, just pin it. Motion will lock it in place and schedule everything else around it. Third, try using the Today View. It gives you a clean, AI-curated summary of your day, like a personal briefing from your digital assistant. And finally, when you're entering tasks, group similar ones together. Motion often batches them back to back so that you stay focused and in the zone. Well now, if you're ready to give Motion AI a shot, don't forget there's a seven day free trial with no credit card required. I've left the link in the description down below, or you can just scan the QR code on your screen to get started. And if you found this video helpful, check out our other videos, including our full Motion review and more productivity app reviews right here on the Health News channel. My name is Steven, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.